Did everybody have a good night's sleep? Yeah. Feel right rested up? It's so good to see so many of you today again. I like it when it gets so full. That's great. Well, I haven't been doing the children's lesson for a while. And you probably don't even remember where we're up to or what I was teaching you on last time. Any wild guess? Acts chapter four. Nope. That's going to be Mr. Henry Weed later. Nope. See, I told you it was a long time ago. It's the book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs. It's pretty much, look, pretty much in the middle of the Bible. Psalms is probably the middle, but this is almost in the middle too. Proverbs is, if you, if you take your book like this, look. If you take your book like this and look, almost in the middle, you open it up and you'll be very close. Unless you have all kinds of other things in the back. But if you don't, it's very close to the middle of the Bible. And if you're in Psalms, that's very close. See, Proverbs is right after Psalms. You see that? And you can almost know when you want to look in the book of Proverbs or in the book of Psalms, you can almost just go in the middle of it and open it up and you'll be very close. It's neat, right? Neat little trick. Okay, and we're up to chapter 3. Chapter 3 of the book of Proverbs. And one of the things that Solomon, remember he wrote this and he was, he had like over 3,000 different sayings that he did that were very, very wise. He had a lot of good things to say. Solomon was so wise. And who remembers how he got so very wise? Do you remember? Jesus? Yeah, but... He asked God in a dream? No, not quite. It's, it, he did ask God, but... He just became king, yes? He asked God for wisdom on how to lead his people. And God was so impressed with his question. You know, a lot of times we'd be like, oh God, give me a lot of stuff. Give me a lot of money. Give me a lot of things. But Solomon didn't do that. He said, God, give me wisdom so I know how to lead your people. He wanted to lead God's people and he wanted to do it in the, in the best way. And he knew he didn't have that wisdom. He knew he wasn't smart enough to do that and to know all the things that would happen and things that would, that would come to pass and that he would know how to handle all that. So he asked God, God, give me wisdom so I know how to rule your people. And God said, because you did not ask for money, because you did not ask for a lot of things, I'm going to make you the wisest person that ever lived on this earth besides Jesus. And so Solomon became very wise. He, he studied a lot of things and he understood a lot of things. You know, you go to school and you, you go or you have books that you learn in and you learn a lot of things. Try to learn everything about it. It'll make you wise. You'll understand a lot of things. Then you can make better judgments in this world if you get that wisdom as much as you can. You can ask God. God will give you wisdom. When you go study, that way you get better understanding. God likes it when we ask him for wisdom. God wants, us, wants to give us wisdom. Okay? And so, in chapter 3, verse 1, it says, My son. So, he's talking to, I don't know if, it's his, his, if it is his own son or if he's talking to boys and girls in general, but he says, my son, forget not my law, but let them, let thine heart keep my commandments. That's an interesting way to say it, right? Usually we say, just obey. But you know what he said here? Let your heart keep my commandments. Deep inside, let your heart keep the commandments. If your heart keeps the commandments, it will come out. If somebody just tells you to obey and you don't want to, you're like, oh, I don't want to, but mom and dad say yes. And okay, your heart's not really obeying the commandment. It's just, well, I have to. But he says, let your heart, let your heart keep the commandment. If your heart keeps the commandment, it'll come out. Will you be perfect? No, you won't be perfect, but you will want to obey from the heart. God is so concerned. He wants people's hearts to be 
the ones obeying. If your heart obeys, the body will follow. Right? If you really, really, really want something, <clears throat> if you wanted to ride a bike, you wanted to learn how to ride a bike or something, you so really want to do it, do your mom and dad have to tell you, you better practice riding bike? No, they don't have to. You know why? Because your heart is so really wanting to ride bike that you're going to learn it no matter what. Even if I get scraped knees, if I fall down, I'm going to do it again because you really want to ride. That was from the heart because you really want to do something. If you really like something, you do it from the heart. And so Solomon says, keep my heart f uh, uh, in your, uh, keep your commandments in your heart. If you keep them in your heart, then they will come out and you will do them, right? So that's very important that our hearts, when your moms and dads say something, don't be grouchy. Do you sometimes not want to do it? He says, learn to do it from the heart. If you do it from the heart, even when it's hard, if you learn to do it from the heart, you'll do it better and you'll obey. There's a lot of things that we don't, enjoy doing, but we still have to do them. But if we do them from the heart, it's easier. Okay? And then verse 2 says, For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. You know, if you obey your parents from the heart, there's a good chance you'll live longer. I have heard and seen of boys and girls I have heard and seen of young boys and girls that have not obeyed and it didn't go so well for them. I heard of one that got into a bad accident because he wasn't obeying. So it was good for, it would have been good for him if he would have obeyed from the heart, right? So when your parents are telling you, they're not trying to just say no to you because they like to say no. When they say no, they know that that's probably better for you to, for them to say no. What if your, your parents let you have all the gum and candy you ever wanted? That would be so cool, right? Wouldn't that be yummy? But they sometimes say no, don't they? Why? Why would they say no? Yes? Because it gives your teeth candy. Exactly. Exactly. It's not good for you. But you would love to have more candy, right? Because it tastes so good. But they know that it's good for you. And also you would get sick. Exactly. You might get a tummy ache. You don't want that either, right? So your mom and dad, when they say, no, no, that's enough candy, they're doing it for a reason. So that you would actually be healthier. So they don't like to just say no because... They like to say no. They don't want you to have a tummy ache. They don't want you to have a toothache. So they protect you. And as you grow older, more of those things will happen. When your parents say, hey, can we do this? Or when you say to your parents, can we do this or this or this? And they say, no. You're like, oh, man, why not? But it's probably they have a good reason. We don't always understand it. We don't always understand why moms and dads say no. Do you always know why mom and dads say no? Or do you sometimes just wish they would just say yes, right? But they know. You know why they know? They've already been through all that and they already understand what will happen to you if they say yes. Or what could happen to you if they said yes. So they say, not today. Or they say, nope. And you're like, oh man. But you know what? If you obey from the heart, it will be easier and it might actually save you a tummy ache. And then you won't, won't have a tummy ache. It might actually keep your teeth in your mouth so they don't, that they won't rot. Right? So it is good. And that's what Solomon is telling all the people. Obey from the heart. And then it says... Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. When it says don't let mercy and truth forsake thee, that's kind of hard to understand. Those are big so, words. Well, yes? Maybe if you ask something, maybe on the other day you would go. 
That's right. Maybe one day they will say yes. Maybe it's just too often and then to say not today, but maybe tomorrow, right? And then you have to obey there too, right? Yeah, that's right. And now it says, let not mercy and truth forsake thee. You know what? Never let mercy and, and, and um, what did it say? Mercy and truth be distant from you. Always have mercy close to you. You know, it's good to have mercy on somebody else. It's good if people have mercy on us. You know what mercy is? Mercy is if you did something wrong to another boy or another girl and they said, I forgive you. They had mercy on you. So it, they're saying if somebody did you something wrong, it's good to forgive them. Have mercy close to you always so that you can forgive others when they wrong you. But if you don't have mercy and you say, uh-uh, I'm going to get them back. That's not mercy. That's not kind. You know, God had mercy on us. We didn't always do the right thing, and yet God had mercy, and he forgave us through his son, Jesus Christ. Okay? So always remember to have mercy close to you when somebody does something wrong to you that you can say, I forgive you. We're still friends. Let's go play together. Right? It's fun to play together. It's not fun if somebody's mad at you, is it? You know the other people don't like it if you're mad at them? The same way. Right? So it's good to forgive one another and still play together and enjoy each other's friendship. Okay? All right. So what we're going to do today, that's all I'm going to have for the lesson today. But we're going to have some singing. You guys want to sing? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Carrie's going to come up and she's going to have some singing with you guys. We're going to sing some songs, some good songs. Here's some books, and then we're going to probably learn some new songs. Okay, some of you... Mommy. You guys want to share here? I don't have a whole lot of folders, but I will make new ones. There. Yeah, and you guys share a bit, then you can all... Maybe three boys or four boys... Yeah, three. Can share here. Why, why don't you uh, hold a book? You hold a book, and then you both can look at it. There you go. And there might be some new songs that you haven't heard, but you're going to learn them. And if you know them, then you can sing along. Okay?